Hi, and welcome to another Casa Black Quick Guides, where I deliver a fast, quick tip to help you get right back to your game without much fuss or e-begging for you to subscribe or like my videos. You guys know the drill by now. In today's guide, I want to share how I began my desert journey so I could start collecting more higher tiered items such as complete wood and complete stone, the cowl and clay, brimstone, and new plants. Using my technique like I discussed in my last video on setting up an iron base, this method had me prepping in advance by building workstations, foundations, ceilings, walls, pillars, etc. to get a place up quickly as soon as I found a suitable place to build. As it turned out, I found that the desert is a beautiful place, but as with many deserts and survival games, the heat kicks in and you can quickly die if you're not prepared, which I was not. Me and my horse with wagon and tow soon had to leave the desert as soon as we got there and settle on the outside down near this river in this little place at these coordinates as shown here. This spot is near the crossroads that actually leads up to the large Mount Fuji looking mountain you can see from anywhere on the map. So this outpost will serve both adventurers and allow me and my family members to venture cautiously while also allowing us to collect some much needed resources in order to advance into the next crafting tiers. Without even having to go into the desert, I was able to find complete wood, complete stone, and also by riding along the road south of the desert, we were able to find small brimstone deposits where the only danger is high level bears and wolves, which of course can easily take down you or your horse, but they're also easy to outrun. So if you're with a friend, just have them run the animals away while you collect the brimstone, or just keep looking when you do not have any animals on you. We were able to do the same thing throughout the actual desert by riding up the road north through the desert and finding the cowl and clay deposits just off the road and then we could head back if our heat level got too high. All of this was well within riding distance of our little outpost making gathering these much needed resources easy and making room for our next ventures further into these deadly zones once we're ready to build something permanent. Overall, I think this little outpost will prove to be crucial in allowing us to move up within the game to further dominate the wildlife and NPC outpost, and thus be able to fully sustain our continued game growth. So, what say you guys? Did you have an easier time of working your way into the desert? Did you find a sweet spot that works better than our little crossroads area? The last thing I want to say about this little location is that it has been lacking any predators, which has been an added bonus in survivability. Something you might want to think about. That's going to do it for this quick guide. Short and sweet. Take care, guys, and stay positive.